on. Hello, everybody. Spider here, DeFi Car Podcast, uh, coming to you from San Antonio, Texas, as always, man. Uh, today, I'm actually being joined by Jonathan Lopez, my man. Where are you at right now, bro? I'm actually out of town right now. I'm originally from Plainview, Texas, but I'm in uh, Fort Worth right now. My wife's family had a wedding, so I came out here for the weekend. And, and of course, I mean, you got some training in, though, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. I got some training in, yeah. And man, uh, I brought you on on here. Of course, uh, we talked a little bit uh, before we got on. But uh, the last time I saw you fight, man, was here, uh, you know, New Braunfels, which is like 30, 40 minutes away from us in San Antonio. And uh, I mean, you, you know, I followed your career uh, through the beginning, man. Of course, your last fight being on 2014. Uh, oh. Why? Why did you stop? And what's what's been going on between then and now? Uh, yeah, I took a, a long break, man. I uh, really work situation, you know, started working. And my job, you know, keeps me pretty busy. And uh, I had to relocate. And where I was relocated at, there really wasn't a, an MMA gym, per se, you know, in the area. But uh, I've transferred back home to Plainview, back where there's, you know, a steady gym and, you know, something I can get back to and, and a steady group of guys to work with. No, I mean, for sure, man, because even like, like I mentioned earlier, I mean, uh, you know, back in the day, I mean, I saw you fight in Corpus one time. I mean, once in New Braunfels. And I mean, you were always fun to watch, man, because every, no matter where you, you always change to the, um, to the situation. I mean, you were you are a mixed martial artist and um, it's been a pleasure, man. And of course, I mean, you're stepping back again, bro. This is going to be April 23rd. Uh, of course, it's going to be for mixed martial arts, right? For the bout. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, uh, the event itself, I tried looking it down. I found the promoter, but uh, Throwdown Showdown 21. Um, dude, I mean, I hope you're taking a sleeping bag because I saw their fight card, and it's like, oh, it yeah. seems like a weekend card, bro. There's a lot, a lot of fighters on that, that platform. Yeah, it looks like it's going to be like an all-day event. They got the kids fan creation, which is really big right now, I guess. I've seen a lot of cards adding that to their, you know, to their card and everything. So, yeah, it looks like it's going to be an all-day event. And of course, man. I mean, I, I gotta ask you the the question, bro. Why? Why now? What is this fight more like a like a bucket list, or are you looking to see where it goes and then uh, keep fighting? Man, really, I I've always trained off and on. Even on, you know, I've been out almost eight years since my last fight. I've always trying trained off and on, and you know, I get in there when I can. But uh, man, really, every time I get back in there, you know, you get that itch and. You know, I, I just still feel like like I, like I can still do it, you know. Like I can still fight as long as I still feel like it's still there. I mean, why not try, you know. I'm at a steady right. point in my career, you know, my job. You know, before I didn't have, a, you know, a steady job. And, you know, so fighting was, it kind of became everything, which kind of, I don't know, it kind of, slowed me down from fighting i guess just because it was it had taken over so much and uh just so much anxiety anxiety around it and oh, yeah. you know it became where i had to win and i had to do this and i had to do that i mean for income and for everything but you know now i mean i you know i don't need the money i don't need anything else i don't I'm not trying to go to the ufc nothing like that i just do it because you know i love it it's a you know it's a a, a fun sport and you know, I'm excited to get back to it. No, oh, yeah, and it's a good thing that you brought that up, man, because, I mean, for myself, I mean, of course, uh, back in the day when you were fighting, bro, I mean, I was still working with TexasFighting.com, and um, like you said, there was a lot of pressure. I mean, I wasn't fighting, but I was traveling. I was going everywhere, and I, I kind of felt like I had to be everywhere, and it, it became overwhelming, man. I mean, you know, half the time for you guys that were fighting back then, it seemed like like you guys were fighting all the time, so it's like there was no shield time. It was always, you know, back-to-back, -back and... You never had time to reset and regroup. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I tried to do it full time, and I was fighting, like, once every month. I was taking terrible fights, not training right, not dieting right. Uh, and then I'd, you know, break a bone or something, and I'd be out for weeks and weeks, and there's no income like that. I mean, it's just not – it wasn't a, a great lifestyle. So, you know, I changed that up. You know, I got a career. You know, went back to school, got a career. Uh, you know, now – now I can go back to doing it because I love it, not because I feel like I have to do it. Oh, yeah. And, I mean, of course, the, the pressure's off. I mean, so would you say now, if you would have had this mindset now, I mean, of course, the career and everything back then, I mean, would it have been 
I mean, obviously, there would have been a different situation, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. I feel like I lost a lot of fights because of, you know, my cardio, you know, not training right, not dieting right. And, you know, now, of course, you know, I train, you know, my main training partner is Jonathan Martinez. You know, he fights in the UFC, so he's got, you know, he's got nutritionists and he's got, you know, obviously great people around him and he's brought that back to us. And really, he's been, you know, working closely with me throughout this whole thing. I've always, you know, trained very closely with him and he's really the one that got me back into fighting. He's the one that's like, hey, man, you still got it. I mean, you need to just, you know, try it one more time. Try it one more time. Make one more run at it. He's like, it's, you know, you still have it. I mean, you got to. You owe it to yourself. And, you know, so he's really helped me with my nutrition and training right. And, I mean, I've, I've never felt better. No, oh, that's great, man. I mean, especially now, uh, of course, your career is there. So, you, I mean, financially, like you say, you don't have that pressure on you. Uh, the team, I mean, I'm sure everybody's uh, supporting you and helping you along the way. And, I mean, it works both ways because you're actually helping them as well, you know. I mean, I'm pretty sure there's a couple of uh, old school moves that you can throw out there that they're not aware of, man. So that, that's got to help. Oh, yeah, yeah. There's definitely – we got a lot of great up-and-comers uh, coming out of that gym. I mean, there's a lot of talent, man. We have a great group of guys I'm, I'm working with. And, man, I mean, it's just grinding every day. No, no. And i got to ask you, man, because on this bout, I mean, I asked if it was mixed martial arts because I saw the whole pancreation and I said, well, maybe he's doing pancreation. But uh, it is mixed martial arts. Uh, what weight class is this going to be at? It's going to be at 145. OK. And on, on that, um, was that a weight class that you kind of wanted to go back to? I mean, because before you were fighting at 135? Uh, I started off 125. I did a couple of 35. I think my very last one was at 145. Okay, so is this a weight class that you're pretty uh, familiar with, basically? Uh, I mean, the last time I did 45, I was walking around 45. Like uh -oh. I said, I, I was taking a lot of last-minute fights above weight classes, fights I shouldn't have taken. And that's the way – that's the main reason for, you know, my record the way it stands right now. But, uh, like I said, I, I'm trying to do it right this time, you know, my nutrition everything. And uh it's been like i said it's been almost eight years since i've had to cut weight so you know this is 145 is just kind of what i felt like my body could get to without hurting myself no no definitely man and, I, and you know uh, it's been said before i mean as we get older it's harder uh, harder to cut weight i mean just for the fact that you know uh we grow into our man bodies i guess you know but uh, uh for you man i mean what's uh what weight class what weight are you walking at right now ah uh, man when I got the phone call about the fight, I was about 170, okay. over 170, you know, almost 175. Uh, I was really worried about my weight. Like I said, I, I haven't cut weight in years. But like I said, I, I worked, you know, day in and day out with, you know, with Dragon, Jonathan Martinez. And, you know, he's really gave me, you know, a set diet. You know, we've been working out hard every day. And, you know, at first it wasn't really falling off like it used to, <laughs> but, you, know, well, you know, once we got into it, man, the weight just started falling off. And I mean, I, I feel great. You know, I'm already, I'm two weeks out and I'm close to weight. And, you know, like I said, I feel great working out. I'm eating every day, drinking every day, drinking water. I mean, I, I feel great. It's, it's awesome. And, and I noticed uh, that's one of the things I keep hearing a lot more lately, man. It's like everybody's like dieting the right way to where they're still able to eat and not starve for days. Because back then you wouldn't eat all day and snack on, on fruit or veggies or something, right? Yeah, back in the day it was no eating, no drinking. I mean, it was, it was terrible. I had to be carried to the scale. I mean, yeah. it was it was rough. And I could feel it in the fight, you know. I'd have about a round and a half in me. And then after that, I'm done. And so wow. I, I'm really looking forward to this. I, I, I know the my cardio, I know everything's going to be there this time. No. And I got to say, because obviously, I mean, your team, man, I mean, they're, they're good people. They're putting out good, uh, good prospects as far as on, on the sport. Uh, the fact that you have people like Jonathan Marti Martinez, you know, of course, uh, your coach, I mean, is that motivation within itself? Oh yeah. Yeah. He definitely pushes me every day. You know, I mean, like I said, we have a great group of guys. I mean, every, there's a great group in the 806 altogether, you know, between oh, yeah. Plainview, Lubbock, I mean, they got some good guys in Amarillo. Uh, I mean, if we all come together a little bit more, I mean, I think we could put out a lot of great fighters out of the 806. 
No, you see, and it's been it's been like that for years, man. And I noticed a, a lot of the older guys are coming back too, man. And it's kind of it's it's motivating for me because now I'm like, you know what, man? I mean, I'm, I've seen you guys fight before. I've seen you guys perform. So as as a fan, I mean, I'm I'm enjoying this. And uh, come fight night, of course, you know, April 23rd, man. I'm looking forward to it, man. Uh, who do you have supporting you for this bout? I mean, any sponsors or any, uh, I mean, of course, your coaches and another? Uh, man, I'll, honestly, I've been asked about sponsors and, you know, making shirts and stuff. And I just, you know, it's been eight years. I just kind of wanted to concentrate on the fight. So I didn't get anything, really, no shirts, no sponsors. But, you know, we'll see how this one goes. And then we'll, we'll look, we may look to that in the next one. But like this, this fight, I just really wanted to concentrate, you know, solely on the fight. Right, right. No, yeah, and like you said, I mean, the money is not as important, of course. You know, being a fighter, you want to, you want to get paid, you know. But, uh, but yeah, that's off the table. I mean, you're concentrating on your bout. Uh, as far as training, I mean, when you start, you say you were training pretty much the whole time. But was there certain like criteria, like boxing, uh, jujitsu, that you kind of had to uh, get used to? Ah, uh, man. Once I started getting back into it, I mean, it all just kind of came back, you know. I, I I didn't really struggle getting back to anything other than just cardio and stuff like that. But and how's that going, man? I mean, what are you adding now uh, in your training that you weren't putting on before? Just nutrition, like I said, I I was not before. I wasn't eating, you know. I was, you know, trying to cut twenty something pounds, and within a couple of days, by like I said, by not eating, by not drinking, and now I'm eating. I'm eating three or four times a day, you know, drinking a gallon of water a day, and I'm just working out hard, and, I mean, the weight is just falling off. It's just eating the right things and just doing everything right this time. I can imagine, man. Now, the, the fight itself is going to be in Kansas. I mean, because you're in North North Texas, you know, you guys are out there. Uh, how far is that from you guys? Uh, man, I think when I looked, I think it was like four and a half, five hours away. And, of course, I mean, it's going to be on a, on a Saturday, I believe, so you guys are going to head out there Friday? Yeah, yeah, we'll head out there Friday morning. And as far as the card, is there anybody else from your team fighting that night, the same night? Oh, yeah, yeah, there's tons of us. There's, uh, I think we got some kids on the card. Uh, you know, Jonathan Martinez, his brother, Kelvin Martinez, is actually the main event. Oh, and, nice. Uh, we got Ivan Ortiz on the card. He's another one of our guys. Uh, we got several guys on the card that I know of. You see, and something like that's got to be good, man, because, of course, now everybody has to fight the same day, so everybody's pushing each other, you know, getting getting uh, each other ready, man. Oh, yeah, like I said, we, we've had a great group of guys for, like, the past, you know, couple of weeks for this whole fight camp. I mean, that same set group of guys has been in the in the gym day in and day out, just grinding every day. No, 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 definitely. Let me ask you, bro, uh, of course, uh, last night, UFC 273 happened, bro. I mean, did you, uh, did you happen to watch that? Man, we had that wedding last night, so I, I was trying to catch, you know, glimpses of it, you know, as much as I could. And as far as, I mean, did you catch the uh, the co-main event and main event, and what were your thoughts on the bouts, man? Or as far uh, as what you thought? I, I saw the main event, you know, parts of it, you know, it just, uh, man, I thought, I wish you could have done more. I like, I like Peter Yana. I, I wish you could have done more, you know, it's just, you know. Sterling, that's what he's good at. So I mean, he, he he played right into it. You know, it you know it happens. Yeah, and Peter Yan, of course, he he wanted a rematch. I mean, would you be okay if there were a rematch again? Would you yeah, watch? I'd be okay with that. You know, I, you know, he he's pretty much dominated everybody, and you know, I wouldn't be upset with a rematch. Sweet man. Well, man, I appreciate you doing this for me. I know you were uh, training earlier. But uh, I wish you the best of luck, man. Is there anything you want to say before you uh, wrap this up? Uh, no, I just want to thank everybody. You know, the guys are different breed. They're in Lubbock. I've put in a lot of work with, with that group of guys day in and day out. You know, I put in some work with uh, Assassin's Lair MMA there in Plainview, as well as AMMA in Plainview. You know, I look forward to putting in some work with the guys at Extreme. Like I said, just everybody in the 806, I've been trying to put in work with everybody and really just bring as much of the 806 as I can to Kansas. Uh, my family, you know, this is, I mean, this, this is pretty much a lifestyle, you know, trying to get back into this again, you know, so I have to have my, you know, my family's got to be behind me 100%, you know, my wife and kids and everybody, uh, they've been behind me and, you know, this whole process, they've made it a whole lot easier, so. Yeah, I mean, and, and that's another thing too, man, because you kind of need that, of course, because you don't want that to be a, a downfall or in back of your head while you're fighting, right, but the fact that oh, there's yeah. a that's awesome, bro. 
My man, don't hang up yet, bro. Uh, everybody out there, man, of course, you know, Jonathan Lopez once again. The fight, April 23rd. This is going to be for Throwdown Showdown 21. Uh, this is Spider, the Fight Card Podcast. Subscribe, follow up, and uh, thank you again, bro. Uh, no problem. Thank you.